Please subscribe and like so that you won't miss follow up on this stock and other market opportunities. I explain stock ideas that has great potential under 3 minutes, and let's get right into today's topic. Chip giant Intel officially launched its 11th generation core processors for laptops, codenamed Tiger Lake, on Wednesday, September 2. The Tiger Lake news was enough to drive shares higher on Wednesday, with Intel stock up about 2.8% in the afternoon. The chips will battle rival advanced micro devices and its risen 4000 mobile chips, which launched earlier this year. Intel is promising that its new chips will beat the competition across a variety of workloads. Comparing Intel's i7 to 1185G7 processor to AMD's Ryzen 7 4800U, Intel claims 20% faster office productivity, up to 2.7 times faster real-world photo editing, and 2 times faster real-world video editing. Compared to Intel's previous generation products, the new chips will deliver up to twice the gaming performance. As most Intel followers know, Intel's recently announced further delay of its own 7 nanometer chip offering led to the latest market sell-off of company stock. Despite setbacks, Intel's second quarter revenue increased by 20% year over year. While the company is facing challenges, the stock trades for around 10 times 2019 earnings, far less expensive than the broader market. AMD currently is trading at 79 times of its 2019 earnings, and Nvidia is at 59 times. Given these facts, current and potential Intel investors may want to consider whether the market has punished the stock too harshly. Given the downside for Intel stock is limited, while you can still get good dividends while wait for a recovery, I would give this stock a buy. Please like and subscribe to help this video reach more smart investors like you. No one can make better decision for you than yourself, and this is not an investment recommendation.